Okay, so we're looking at a molecular weight problem here. We've been given a mass, we've been given a pressure, and it's over water. We've also been given a volume and a temperature. Now, if we're looking for molecular weight, the units we're looking for are grams per mole. Now, we've already got grams here. Now, we need to find moles, and the best way to find moles is to use our formula PV equals NRT, and then we can say N equals PV over RT. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is write out our values and P equals V equals N equals R equals and T equals. The value for R that we'll be using will be 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole per Kelvin and that's the same as writing liters atmospheres over moles and kelvins and you can see these are negative ones here because those will be on the bottom. Alright, so what we're going to have to do is figure out these values in the same units as what R has so we can get everything to cancel and we can get the unit that we need. Now the pressure that we're given is 756 millimeters of mercury but it's also told it's collected over water. Now if it wasn't collected over water we wouldn't have to worry about this step. We could just go ahead and convert our 756 millimeters of mercury into atmospheres and be done with it. But uh, we won't be able to do that here because it's collected over water. And what we know is that P total, and that's what we're given, is going to equal the pressure of the gas, which is what we want, plus the pressure of the water. Now the pressure of the gas then is going to equal P total minus pH to O. Now P total is given as 756 millimeters of mercury and what we're going to have to do is subtract out the vapor pressure of water at this temperature alright so it's 27 degrees 27.0 degrees 26.7 millimeters of mercury is going to be the vapor pressure of water at that temperature Now when we figure that up, that's going to be 729 millimeters of mercury. Note about significant figures here. We've got uh, one, zero decimal places here and one decimal place here. So the answer is going to come out to zero decimal places because this is a subtraction. And we're going to be doing divisions and multiplication soon, so we had to get the significant figures right here as well. We also need to convert this into atmospheres so that it matches the unit in R. And what we'll do there is put millimeters of mercury on the bottom, atmospheres on top, and the conversion here is one atmosphere, 760 millimeters of mercury, and that's going to come out to be 0.959 atmospheres. Volume, we're given as being 600 mils. We need to convert that to litres. And millilitres and litres, one litre is 1,000 mils. That's going to be 0 0.600 litres. And we're looking for temperature is 27.0 degrees Celsius plus 273, and that's going to be 300K. Uh, one decimal place, zero decimal places zero decimal places. N equals PV over RT pressure 0.959 atmospheres volume 0 0.600 litres R 0 0.08206 litres atmospheres per mole per Kelvin temperature 300K you can see that the kelvins will cancel, the liters will cancel, the atmospheres will cancel. That will leave us with moles. We have three significant figures. We need to get the molecular weight. That will be grams divided by the number of moles here. That will end up being three significant figures as well.